Alola, trainers! This is Chaconatic. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Moon Version. In the last episode, we beat Mallow's Trial, got the Grassium Z, and we also visited the uh, Dimensional Research Lab and learned a little bit about the mysterious Ultra Beasts. And now we're uh, making our way through Diglett's Tunnel so that we can get to Coney Coney City and have our grand trial against the Kahuna Olivia. So let's stroll on up these stairs and see what waits up ahead. What the? Phew! With Olivia in charge, we're finally, we finally managed to make some headway against those Diglett. Oh, Alola! We're members of the Aether Foundation. We work to support Pokemon converse conservation. I almost said conversation. It seems like Team Skull was responsible for the Diglett in this cave getting so riled up and bringing them all up to the surface. Is that so? Oh, Team Skull is this group of troublemakers, you see. Yes, I'm quite familiar with them. They seem to delight in interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. Diglett normally live in elaborate systems of underground tunnels that take years to dig out. We're here to ensure that they return to their tunnels and let people pass through here without having to fight so many Pokemon. Some of the Diglett are still stuck on or near the surface though, so be careful. Mm-hmm. I don't know about those team or uh, Aether Foundation guys. I think they might be up to something suspicious. Keep my eyes on them. So it looks like we got a construction worker hiding over there. What the hell is that noise? I heard something weird, but anyway. I actually have my uh, anti-Olivia team on me right now. Including my Fomantis Orchid. Uh, and they're all level 28 right now, but I don't know how much I'll be able to train them up some more before we do fight against Olivia. But either way, they should help me through this tunnel. And we got ourselves a Hyper Potion. And what's down here? Is this the way forward? I don't know which way to go here. <laughs> I found a Nugget. And another Zygarde cell. Very nice. I'm just trying to find my way through here. Work through brute force doesn't go well. Mm-hmm. Worker Vaklav. He sounds Russian to me. And he sends out Machop for the motherland. All right, Orchid, I think we can handle this. Use Leaf Blade. Oh, and it uses Low Sweep. Oh, that really hurt, and my speed fell. That's not good. Let's send in Clever Girl. Knock off. Why don't you fucking knock it off, you bastard? Down goes my chop. And we're moving right along. Your power is beyond what I imagined. <laughs> Take that, Russia. I'm just kidding. I love Russia. Doing calculations allows you to tap into your power. <laughs> okay, so... Let's heal up Orchid. Mm. Oh, there's something over here. Oh, it's Team Skull! Ah, no way! 
Just when things were starting to heat up, yo. I got surrounded by Diglett and beat up, yo. Yo, since when can Diglett use beat up? <laughs> I got so... I'm so mad that now I want to beat up on some fools. Don't be mad because you were the fool who was dumb enough to be here right now. Lou! Aoi! I was wondering who you were playing around with without me, and it's Team Skull. I hope I said that right. Hawaiian's weird. You want some? That's how we say hello. Nice knowing you, punks. Alright, so we got a battle against Team Skull. Which I guess means we're going the right way. I can always explore this, the rest of this tunnel later on my own time. Oh, and it's a double battle. So land it and Fomantis, what? Excuse you? So we got How's Pikachu helping us out. I'm gonna go Fomantis versus Fomantis. Let's hope Pikachu goes after the Salanded. Never fucking mind, he went after Fomantis as well. Alright, now it's dead, so that just leaves the landed. And against that, I think I'll send in uh, schools out. Sounds about right. And there goes the schooling ability. Pikachu uses Quick Attack. I don't think that's going to be quite enough, Pikachu. Ooh, and he got smugged. And poisoned. Poor Pikachu. Alright. School's out. Finish off that Salandit with Scald. And another Quick Attack, just to be sure. Sweet Scent. Thanks for wafting over that nice smell before I murder you. It'll, be, it'll do a good job of covering up the stench of your corpse. <laughs> All right. Team Skull defeated. Are we headed to the grave, yo? Will our bones be laid bare, yo? The gloom that enfolds us like fog. We can't seem to shake it off. <laughs> yo, step off. Enough with the beating up, yo. We may not be trying to take over the world or nothing, but we're still hard as bone out here. Aw, uh, no global domination plans. See you on the flip side. Man, Lou, when I fight with you, it's like even my Pokemon feel more at ease. You really are some kind of trainer. That's it. I've just got to give you something. A uh, Max Ether. Isn't that nice? Max Ethers will restore all the PP to one of your moves, you know? They're pretty great, right? Now I'm going to go have some more fun with those Diglets. See ya. Alrighty then. Zer, which one is Olivia's shop? Why doesn't my map have this programmed in? <laughs> That's a good question. Okay. So are we done here? That's the exit? That was quick. Route 9, short and sweet. What's this? The police station. Don't fight. Don't meet anyone's eyes. What the heck? Oh my god, we're going to have to battle police officers. It's a schnobble! Blah, blah! If it's not urgent, could you please come back later? Sorry, but I'm on my break right now. <laughs> if you're on your break, why are you behind the counter? Anyway, if you ever get lost, just check the town map. I depend on it regularly. Mm-hmm. All right, since we're going to have to battle some police officers, I think I know who to put in front. 
I got a nice little new Pokemon on my uh, Akala Island team. I'm, I'm doing things the way I did them last time with the previous uh, Kahuna battle, where I assemble like a balanced team of all the best Pokemon from that island. So this is basically my Akala Island team, and it's pretty balanced. And I got this new Pokemon on here that I think you're going to like. I haven't had any cases, so I'm bored. How about a battle? Alright, so let's show off my new team member. It's not an Alola Pokemon, but it's still a classic one and one of my favorites. Officer Haruki sends out Growlithe. And I send out Kage, my Umbreon. Oh yeah, we got the Umbreon alright. Hmm, intimidate, huh? How about this? If I can't use my attack, I'll use yours. <laughs> nice. Let's see if Kage can handle this on his own. Wow, even with the attack lowered, that did some pretty good damage. Oh, but here comes the flame wheel. Get him, Kage. Use faint attack. Just barely not enough. And he uses fucking reversal. Oh my god. That really fucking hurt. Had to use my citrus berry and everything. Kill it quickly with quick attack. Alright, Growlithe is fucking dead. This is a case, or not. <laughs> the case of the ass kicking given to you by a random kid's Umbreon. It's okay for a police officer to be weak because Alola is peaceful. I don't think that's a valid excuse at all. <laughs> just, to, just because it's peaceful now doesn't mean it always will be. And with that in mind, we're going to put Clyde in front. See if he can handle whatever comes at us next. This way to Memorial Hill, and beyond it, the ruins of life. Ooh. Interesting. If you're going to Coney Coney, you've got to stop by Kahuna Olivia's shop, right? She sells stones, so you can use on Pokemon to make them evolve. Is that a fact? Very interesting. And we also got an X accuracy. I don't even need Stoutland. I, I can tell some of these hidden item spots just by looking at them. Trainer tips. On the screen where you select a ride Pokemon to call, press the control pad icon beside a Pokemon and you can register that Pokemon to the direction button. Once you've registered a Pokemon, you can call it in no time by pressing that button in the field. Yep, figured that out a long time ago. Thanks for the netball. Oh wait, that's a fisherman. <laughs> It would actually be a really bad idea to go up against a fisherman with a ground type. So let me switch Orchid to the front real quick. I keep repeating fair battles with Pokemon and trainers. What kind of a person is a fisherman? <laughs> Alright, Fisherman Mike. Nice to meet you. And he's got a Chin Chew. Chin Chow? I never know how to pronounce that. Alright, Orchid. Let's beat this guy. I'll end your life in one move. <laughs> he goes for the bubble beam. Orchid shrugs it off. And then... We got the grass type Z move. Finally showing it off now that we earned it from the trial in the last episode. Orchid unleashes its full force Z power. Bloom Doom. Beautiful blooming flowers and then nuke. Giant ass nuclear explosion in the shape of a rose. Reminds me of that uh, explosion from uh, Hunter x Hunter actually. Like that mini nuke 
that that old man had in his body when he fought against fake Cell. Like, it was basically a ripoff of Cell. I forget the name of the character. He was like the... It was the uh, Chimera Ant saga, and it was like the king Chimera Ant, and the old man had to fight it, and he had a bomb in his chest in case things went bad, and... Yeah, I don't want to spoil it all, but I highly recommend, if you haven't watched Hunter x Hunter, watch it, because it's fucking amazing. But anyway, joy when I hook it, sadness when it gets away. But yeah, that's what Bloom Doom reminds me of, that, uh, like, Rose mini nuke from Hunter x Hunter. I think of it every time. Life bobs up and down, I think, while watching the bobber. I could catch rare Pokemon from rock piles with bubbles spouting from them. Mm-hmm. The dead can sleep in peace here. Here in the shadow of Tapu Lele's sacred ruins, the ruins of life. They say that's why Memorial Hill was built here long ago. So I guess this is Memorial Hill? It sure is. Okay, uh... How about we put Clever Girl in front? Actually, no, put Clyde in front. Clyde hasn't really gotten a chance to do anything yet. And hopefully we won't get attacked by, like, grass and water types. So it looks like this is another graveyard, basically. Kind of like the one back in, uh... Howley City. Raw. The mighty families of old Alola rest beneath these graves here. Maybe they wanted to stay close to the Tapu. When my own time comes, I hope I'll be put to rest in the same grave as my good rock ruff. Mm-hmm. That's uh, actually really fucking depressing. But I found a heel powder on somebody's grave. Hooray for grave robbing. I thought I'd have a little gander at the ruins of life, but there's one thing to do first. <laughs> so yeah, at this point we're just preparing for the battle against Olivia, I guess. Gentleman Smith. Gentleman. Oh snap! He's got an Umbreon just like me! And it's even in a fucking luxury ball just like mine, oh my god. Totally spoopy. I know this is a graveyard, but I was not expecting to get spooped like this. 10 out of 10, too spoopy for me. Alright. Clyde can handle an Umbreon because he's got double kick. Just barely not enough for uh, a two hit KO, I think. Or technically four hit KO. But with every hit you send my way, I get stronger because I've got stamina. Alright, one more hit should do it. As he full restores. Well, either way, I'm going to show off my new move. High horsepower. It's the perfect move for Clyde, and holy shit, it does way more than I thought. I might as well just use that again. Ugh, confuse Ray. Well, at least my defense is up, so even if I hit myself, it won't hurt too badly. I wonder if it'll activate my stamina if I hit myself. Well, guess we won't find out this time. But that's an interesting question. <laughs> if, if I hit myself, does it raise my defense because of stamina? That would be funny. Quite skillfully done. Tapu Lele visits the ruins of life. It's considered to be the vitalizing Pokemon. Hmm, interesting. And I found a cleanse tag. Not bad. And now this little kid wants to battle. People in graves are sleeping forever, right? Yes, you poor little innocent child. They're just sleeping forever. Preschooler Liam. <laughs> ah, Jigglypuff. What are you going to do? Sing me to death? All right, Clyde. 
let's wrap this up real quick and easy like yeah that's about what I thought one high horsepower and that thing is dead what's next Ledian hmm you know what I'm gonna stick with Clyde and there's a very good reason I'm sticking with Clyde because Clyde happens to know a TM I taught him that should take out this Letty in no problem. That's right. He knows Rock Tomb. Quad super effective. You're fucking dead. Get out of here. <laughs> and we defeated preschooler Liam. Uh, I'm getting sleepy. Dude, that's fucking darker than my Umbreon. Holy shit, this game needs to chill. If they're sleeping and won't wake up, just give them a chest to buried hold. Oh god. This is getting very disturbing. I don't know if I want to be here anymore. I'm going to switch my uh, lead party member one more time. And maybe we'll get to show them off. Ooh, an adrenaline orb. I'll take it. So, did I come this way? I think I did, yeah. What's over here? A super repel. Nice. Getting all the hidden items, and I don't even fucking need Stoutland. <laughs> Which Pokemon do you think is fitting with the grave? Let's battle. Perhaps you'll figure it out. Alright. Time to show off the last member of my anti-Olivia team. And this one I'm really excited to try out. Madame Sayori, let's see what you got. She sends out Comfey. Well, Comfey, I want you to meet my good friend Bear Nair. My beware. And you should beware because this attack stat is nothing to scoff at. In fact, I'm going to show you just how powerful this guy really is. First, I'm going to dodge your shitty rap. And then I'm going to give you the all-out pummeling of your life. I don't care if it's not very effective. It might still be enough to kill you because this, is, this attack stat is just that ridiculous. Like, Beware's attack stat is just absolutely insane. Fucking epic power. And that was not very effective, folks. Just remember that. Aw, oh, full restore, you bitch. What is with these rich old bastards and their full restores? Oh, well, just keep brick-breaking it until it's dead. Or get sweet-kissed. How dare you beat my brute strength with strategy? Uh, fucking hitting myself. Come on, Bear Nair, don't let this fucking ring of flowers beat you. Okay, we got the brick break in that time. Ooh, nice critical hit just when we needed it. Beautiful job. Excellent work, Bear Nair. Is it ghost type after all? I'm also looking for something that's unexpected. <laughs> oh, you're covered in fuzz. Let me help you. I fucking love my beware. I just, I might just add this guy to the final team. Just look at how cute he is. <laughs> that face. Oh, he hides his eyes. It's so cute. Oh, you cute little beware. <laughs> it's so cute. So adorable, and yet he can kill me just with a fucking swipe of his paw. Oh, man. I love beware so much. Easily one of my favorite of the Alola Pokemon. 
The graves in Akali have been here a long time. That's why this is a tourist spot. Trainer tips. If you touch a Pokemon's icon during a Pokemon battle, you can see detailed information about how it will set, stack up in battle. Is that a Team Skull member? First of all, we gotta see what the hell this thing is. It's a ghastly. I caught one of those in the last fucking cemetery. Come on, Bear and Air. We don't need to bother with this fucking shit. But let's have a quick look-see at this, uh... Actually, maybe I'll battle her later because... I don't want to waste too much time. I just want to see where this path leads. Akala Outskirts. Where the hell are we even going right now? The Ruins of Life. So does that mean we're going to see Tapu Lele? I don't know how to feel about this. <clears throat> hey, a nose pass. There's something you don't see every day. Rest? Are you fucking serious right now? Watch it have a chesto berry just to fuck with us. Okay, maybe not. Alright, take another brutal swing at it. Hmm. I wonder if we can get it in a great ball even though it's not in yellow, because it is asleep. Let's give it a try. Hey, now I have to come up with a name for this one. It uses powerful magnetism to drag its prey toward it. It's also been known to pull in metal, which it collects and uses to protect itself. Alright. Well, it's female, and it's got a really fucking big schnoz. So I think I'll name it Lois. <laughs> After Lois Griffin from the fam from uh, Family Guy. That's, that's the only thing that comes to mind when I see a girl with a giant nose is Lois. So there we go. We caught Lois. And here's another fisherman. I'm just going to skip these for now. Ooh. But I'll tell you what I won't skip. A free TM. Oh my god. It's the new and improved leech life. Ladies and gentlemen. 80 fucking. Oh wait. Wrong screen. 80 fucking base power. Oh. I am definitely teaching that to somebody. I can guarantee you that. I am gonna have some fun with that. All right, can we sneak past this guy? Oh, for fuck's sake. Good morning, morning for short. <laughs> Enough with all these trainer battles. I just wanna get to the ruins of life and see what's over there. Black Belt Kenji, you're in my way. Ooh, and it's Hariyama. Not bad, not bad, but can it stand up against bare and air? Let's find out, shall we? Use all out pummeling! Can we one hit KO a Hariyama? Just how powerful is Beware? Does it have the power to fucking one hit KO as a sturdy ass, bulky ass Pokemon like Hariyama? Let's find out. I'm thinking maybe. My gut says maybe. Oh my god. Get fucking wrecked. Hariyama ain't shit. Bairnair is fucking unstoppable. You played that battle well. GG for short. GG. No re. 
Yeah, I'm thinking with fucking Beware on our team, it's going to be GG Olivia as well. I don't see how she can possibly beat that thing. Thanks for being my opponent. TY for short. How do you do, fellow kids? I'm hip with the lingo. Ruins of life. Are we gonna fucking see Tapu Lele? Like, this is so weird. We just waltz right into the ruins. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, it's a puzzle that requires strength. Okay, so we can't go up and see Tapu Lele just yet. We need strength, it seems. But listen to this creepy music. Oh, man. Battling the Tapus is going to be crazy. Can't wait till that happens. But uh, for now, let's head on back. What the... Oh, another Zygarde cell. Nice. I am just scooping all of these up. And that's a handy little shortcut. Ah, stupid grass. What is it this time? A phantom. Mm-hmm. Well, I got nothing to say against that. And it has Frisk, too. Interesting. Alright, so we're going to hit it with a smog. Or maybe miss it with a smog. Come on, clever girl. You're cleverer than this. In grain, huh? So that's the way it's going to be. Ugh, smog has such terrible accuracy. Can't wait till I learn a better poison type move. Faint attack. Let's try a heal ball. Why not? Haven't thrown one of those in a while. Okay, that failed miserably. Oh no, don't call for help. Ugh, this episode is going to be so long. Try a great ball this time. Please, just get in the ball so we can move along. Nice. Catching Pokemon left and right. You've made it over the hump for the Akala Pokedex. You're rolling along as smooth as a Pokeball. <clears throat> yeah, I've caught a lot of Pokemon. According to legend, medicine to cure any illness can be made by plucking the green leaves on its head, brewing them, and boiling down the liquid. Hmm. Healing liquid, and it's female, Phantom. You know what? I'm feeling autistic. I'm going to name her Fanta. <laughs> Fanta, Fanta, Fanta fever. <laughs> there you go. Fanta's been sent to a box. I know when I need some healing liquid, I gulp down a Fanta. And we got a spell tag. What I really want is to get the hell out of here right now. Should we risk the shortcut through the grass? Yes, we should. Ooh, and a Dusk Ball. All right. Well, we explored the graveyard. We got a sneak peek at the uh, Ruins of Life. 
Now let's head into Coney Coney City. Oh my goodness, this place is fucking jumping. <laughs> Whoa, Probopass. <laughs> wow, this is such a cool looking city. Very uh, Asian themed, I like it. Hey. Hmm, I don't really understand these foreign goods, but they are pretty fun to look at. And I had no trouble understanding the stones and fossils in Miss Olivia's store up there. Alright, let's, uh, check this place out. Wait, apparently it's right here? Wow, Olivia's store is actually way more chic than I'd have expected. I know she's the island kahuna and all, but she seems like such a normal person, you know? Alright, so it looks like her shop is right here. And this seems like a pretty good place to uh, end the episode for now. Next time, we will head into Olivia's shop and most likely undergo our grand trial battle. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you are too. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.